Alec Murdoch's bid for a new trial, the disgraced attorney convicted of killing his wife and son is now claiming jury tampering. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the latest twist in this high-profile case. Morgan, good morning. Hey, good morning to you. Ed. Uh, th that three-day hearing begins tomorrow, and it centers around whether the clerk of court talked the jury into a guilty verdict, all in order to sell her book. Now, if the judge decides there was jury tampering here, prosecutors will have to try Alec Murdoch's complicated and grisly double, mu double murder case all over again. This morning, all eyes on this South Carolina courtroom were hearing that could determine whether disgraced lawyer Alec Murdoch, who was found guilty of killing his wife and son, will get a new trial. It's all a part of an appeal by Murdoch's legal team on claims of jury tampering by clerk of court Becky Hill. Are we entitled to evidentiary hearing? The law is crystal clear that we are. So one by one, former jurors in Murdoch's trial will take the stand tomorrow to explain to the judge what happened during deliberations. One testified already on Friday. There's also a chance that Hill will answer questions from the judge too. The stakes are very high for Alec Murdoch. This seems to be one of his best chances to get a retrial in this double homicide case, but the bar is extremely high, if not impossible to reach based on the judge's decisions and the arguments we're likely to hear in this case. Hill read the verdict in Murdoch's double murder trial. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Murdoch's legal team accusing her of pressuring the jury into a quick decision to secure for herself a book deal and media appearances that would not happen in the event of a mistrial. Hill denying the allegations, but later admitted to plagiarizing part of her book about the trial, which has since been pulled from store shelves. For the next three days, the defense will try to convince the judge that Murdoch did not get a fair trial and that there would have been a different outcome had it not been for Hill allegedly pressing the panel. I can't rule out that Alec Murdoch will get a new trial, but if I was to analogize it in any way, I would say like this is making a, a 65 yard field goal. Have I seen it before? Maybe once or twice, but this is extremely, extremely difficult. And Murdoch is serving two back-to-back -back life sentences, and although he still maintains his innocence in those murders, he's also been sentenced to 27 years in state prison on financial crimes. So even if this appeal is successful, Gio, he'll still spend a great deal of time behind bars. So many looking at that case. All right, Morgan, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.